Hey guys, so it's Cool Drugs here, and today I'm showing you guys my PlayStation 3 game collection. So I've had a PS3 for a little over a year now, and wow, the time I've had with the system is just fantastic. I wanted one for a while, but I never picked one up until last year off Craigslist for like 60 bucks, and it was an investment I definitely do not regret making. Uh, the PS3, I have so many games for already because the games are just super cheap, lots of great titles, lots of great HD collections, lots of fantastic RPGs, platformers, racing games, so much variety on the PS3, and the little time I've spent with it, which is just a little over a year, I've had a blast with it, and it's become one of my favorite game consoles. So i got a lot of games to go over here, so let's just get started. Well, first off, we have Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed 3. I've heard a lot of good things about the Assassin's Creed games, but I've never actually played any of them besides the first one a little bit so I gotta get into these but yeah I heard a lot of great things about Assassin's Creed 2. Here we have the Batman Arkham games, we have Batman Arkham Origins, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham Origins. I don't have City because I actually had it but I, I went ahead and I sold it a couple years back but I do have Asylum and City and Asylum is actually the game of the year edition and wow these games are just really good if you're a fan of uh, like a Metroid but like more of like a 3DS Metroid with like beat em up elements you would really like these games they're really good and yeah a lot has already been said about them that I couldn't already emphasize so yeah Batman Arkham games great games definitely recommend you can check them out here we have Burnout Paradise I've heard a lot of great things about the Burnout series but I've never actually played any of them I gotta give this a go one day because I heard a lot of great things about this game and I heard it's really really fun here we have some Call of Duty games we have Call of Duty Mod 4 Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Combo Pack but it's actually just Black Ops 2 in there uh, yeah, Call of Duty games are pretty fun, uh, you know, I know a lot of people talk about them and stuff, you know, they're overrated, but they're pretty fun shooters for the campaign, I don't really play the multiplayer, but yeah, I do have, uh, some COD games. Here we have Devil May Cry HD Collection, now, Devil May Cry series is a series I've always wanted to get into, and I picked this up a couple months ago, off GameStop, um, and it looks really, really fun, I've heard a lot of great things about the Devil May Cry series, and I cannot wait to check this game out. Hopefully during the summertime or spring break, I'll be giving this a go. And I cannot wait to play these, especially Devil May Cry 3. I've heard a lot of great things about that one. So, yeah. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Honestly, I haven't played this, but I've heard it's a really good game. and heard it's pretty underrated, so I gotta check this out one day. Here we have some Gran Turismo games. We have Gran Turismo 5 Prologue and Gran Turismo 6. These are pretty cheap. Uh, I've never really played much of the Gran Turismo games besides the PS2 ones. So I can't say much about them, but I've heard they're really good games. Uh... Racers. I want to check Grand Turismo 6 out soon because it has lots of cars and stuff. And I picked up for like 5 bucks, you know? Not a bad deal. And definitely, I think I'd get a lot of value out of playing that one. Here we have Grand Theft Auto 4. I've had a lot of memories with the Grand Theft Auto series. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto Vice Cities. This one too, but not as much. But I remember seeing the trailer for this game when it first uh, came out. And wow, I was just amazed. I definitely wanted to get this game. And yeah, it's a really fun game. I heard it's not that popular among the GTA fan base. But I still think it's one of the better GTA games, honestly. Uh, definitely better than uh, some of the older ones. Uh, but not as, it's, probably, it's not as good as, obviously, 5 and San Andreas. But it's still a really fun game. And, you know, it, I think it's a lot of flack. But I think for um, for when it came out, which was around the time of the PS3 and Xbox 360 launch, I think it was a really good game. So, yeah, definitely check this out. It's pretty cheap. And, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Here we have Heavenly Sword. Honestly, I've never played it, but I've heard it's a really good game, and I got it for like six bucks off GameStop, so I can't complain. It looks like a really cool hack and slash. Here we have the Infamous series. We have Infamous and Infamous 2. I've played both these games. I haven't beat either of them, but Infamous 2 is just fantastic. Infamous 1 is... It's pretty alright, but Infamous 2 fixes a lot of the issues Infamous 1 had, like frame rate issues and some graphical hiccups and stuff, and just has a better gameplay, and everything looks gorgeous in Infamous 2. These games are really cheap, and I definitely recommend you should check them out, because they're really fun games, and you know, the open world setting and everything is just awesome, so yeah, definitely recommend you check out the Infamous series. Here we have Just Cause 2. I think this game up recently for like 5 bucks, no, actually no, 3 bucks, and yeah, I think that was a really good deal. Um, this game's kind of like um, an open world sandbox game, where where you literally have the ability to blow up everything. It's just awesome. You can like roll up uh, helicopters and you get to like glide and stuff throughout. It looks like a really cool game. Um, and then there's a seri there's a there's a gate sequel to this on Xbox One, PS4, and obviously PC. Uh, just Cause 3, and that game looks awesome as well. I heard this is a really good series, so I can't wait to check this out. I play a little bit of this one. It's really good, but it's not enough to give an extensive opinion on it. Here we have Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, which includes the original Kingdom Hearts in uh, full HD as well as some other um, stuff, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, Kingdom Hearts, I played through this in summer a little bit, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it, I'm not sure what it was, I've heard so much praise about this game, and I tried to get into it, I just could not, I'm gonna give this another go soon though, I'm trying to get back in this, I was in the Alice in Wonderland, which is really near the beginning, I don't know, something about it, it's just, I couldn't, it was just a little confusing for me, but yeah, I've heard a lot of praise about it, so I'm not gonna give up yet, I'm definitely gonna get, get, 
Definitely gonna try this again, I can't speak today. And hopefully I'll be able to get into it when I do that. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which a really good friend of mine gave me last year for my birthday. I was really happy about that. You know who you are, you're probably watching this, thanks so much. But anyways, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This is an awesome, awesome hack and slash game. Uh, really nice graphics, really nice gameplay. Everything about this game is superb. I've talked about this game a lot on my channel, and for good reason. This game is just freaking fantastic. Really good replay value, free DLC. Um, you just can't go wrong. Uh, really, really good game. It's kind of short, but the characters, the bosses, the music, the music kicks ass. Um, everything about this game is freaking amazing. Definitely recommend you check it out. It's really cheap, too, and it's on uh, Xbox 60 as well as Steam. So, yeah, you have no excuse not to get this game. It's awesome. Uh, it's pretty cheap, so definitely check this game out if you get the chance. Persona 4 Arena, which is a fighting game made by the people who made uh, Blast Blue. And it has uh, characters from Persona 4. Um, not much to say there, you know. It's just the same gameplay, but with Persona 4 characters with some added elements. I played a little bit of it. It's pretty fun. Uh, there's a sequel to this called Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, which I want to get to. Uh, but for, for now, this is a really fun game, and it's really cheap too. Uh, definitely recommend if you're a fan of Persona 4, you check this one out. I think you'll enjoy it. And it's a lot. Um, it's like it kind of makes me wish they made a uh, a Persona 4 Golden, but for PS3, I guess, or PS4, because uh, it kind of like the same settings that I saw on the Vita on the TV look really nice. So yeah, I know that Persona 4 is on the PS2, but like a Golden version that'd be really awesome. But anyways, Persona 4 Arena, uh, definitely check it out if you get the chance. It's pretty fun. Portal 2, which I beat over the summer, and wow, this game was just freaking fantastic. Lots of uh, replay value, lots of different um, chapters, not chapter, like missions like test chambers and wow just freaking amazing there's only a few characters in this game but what they do is just fantastic the voice acting is awesome the characters are just f funny as hell um but at the same time it has like a sense of loneliness in the game because he's only human who's in actually in the game and yeah just fantastic game uh, i heard this co-op between steam and ps3 so i might give that a go with my friend uh if you can definitely get this game definitely check it out i heard the pc version uh, is the best version because obviously you mouse and stuff, but if you have console, you can still get this game. Uh, it's really good. Definitely recommend Portal 2. It's a great, great game. Here we have Puppets here, and honestly, I haven't played this one, but I got it for sale at uh, Target a couple years back, or like, yeah, about a year back in a couple months. It looks pretty fun, so I gotta check this out one day. Here we have Saints Row 2. Here we have Shift 2 uh, Unleashed Limited Edition, which just looks like your average racing game. We have Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now, I love, love, love this game. Uh, it's one of my favorite games, and my friend. Another friend gave me this game for my birthday last year. He's probably watching this right now. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, this game is freaking fantastic. It's coming out on PS4, Xbox One, uh, and PC for the first time uh, very soon. Um, so definitely, if you have any of those, you should definitely check it out. Because the old versions are kind of expensive. But yeah, I love the roster. I love the character designs. Just very nice looking character designs. And it's got uh, the comic book versions of the characters. So you don't need to worry about the MCU creeping in. Sadly, I can't say that for the Marvel Capcom Infinite coming out for PS4 sometime next year or this year. But yeah, I'm really excited for Marvel's Capcom Infinite, and yeah, this game has kept me occupied for many, many hours, and it probably will a lot more. Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3 is awesome. And last but definitely not least, we have the Uncharted trilogy, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, which is um, the first in the series, and it's not as good because there's some uh, very glaring flaws in the game. There are some issues, but it's still a blast to play for what it is. It's really fun, uh, but some stuff in it is not as great, some of the aiming is a little off. Some of the graphics uh, for, you know, it's early PS3 games, so we can't really complain about that. But yeah, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves fixes a lot of the problems of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And that's why a lot of people love this game, and this game got Game of the Year awards and stuff. And it really does deserve it. It's a really fantastic game. Lots of great set pieces. Everything about this game is really freaking good. And then we have Uncharted 3 Drake's Inception, which is the third game uh, in the trilogy on PS3. Before 4 came out, when it used to be called the trilogy. But anyways, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. This one's alright. Um, it's not as good as 2, definitely. There are. It feels more like they split um, on, They split into like a bunch of stories in one. Um, whereas Uncharted 2 is more like streamlined. But it's still really good. Uh, the gameplay is solid, just like Uncharted 2. And the graphics are a little bit better. And all three games are definitely fantastic. If you got PS4, you get the Nathan Drake collection. But if you have PS3, uh, these games are really cheap um, single copies. So... 
yeah, definitely recommend you give the Uncharted series a go. So yeah, guys, that's my PlayStation 3 game collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What PS3 games do you guys recommend I check out based on my taste? I love to know because I'm always open to recommendations. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. That really helps out. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my channel. I have lots of other collection videos as well as pickup videos, recent game playing, and all that good stuff that you guys see on other game channels as well as some other uh, different videos I discussed the different game topics and stuff so yeah guys let me know what you think comment section below make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and once again thank you guys so much for watching my video if I hadn't said that already which I probably did but if it did not thank you so much for watching and yeah I'll see you guys next time with more videos peace